Hello guys and welcome to the official set commerce channel. It's me Sheikha this side. I hope you all are doing great and you all are all set to know how we create a new profile to upload products on Bonanza Marketplace from Shopify store using set commerce's uh, Shopify Bonanza app. So let's start and see how we do that. So he here this is the dashboard and on the top navigation bar of this dashboard you can see the option of profiling. So you need to click on it in order to create a new profile and upon clicking it you will be seeing a uh, add new profile uh, option here which you need to click and upon clicking it you'll be navigated to this page and here on the left side you can see a menu of uh, sections and you need to fill details in these uh, sections one by one to create a new profile and uh, the sections with red button are mandatory to be filled and uh, uh, other options are other are optional but you can still uh, go on and add necessary details in accordance with your system in accordance with your business and uh, to start with uh, the first section here is general so here you have profile information section and you need to uh, start with uh, uh, entering a name for the profile that you're creating so here you can uh, keep a name for your profile that you want uh, and it can be in accordance with the products that you will be assigning to this particular profile so uh, suppose if you have uh, jewelry uh, which you are going to assign in this particular profile then you will be I will be basically uh, entering a name jewelry here and the profile name will be jewelry and the next thing is item condition so here basically you need to select the status of the products that you would be assigning to this profile so here you have these options new uh, manufacturer refurbished for parts or not working so you can uh, uh, select the item condition from these options which are here so once you're done with this the next section is category management which you need to click at from the left side of the menu and upon clicking on it you can see the page like this and here you need to map the uh, Shopify product type with Bonanza category so here you need to enter the product type so since I have jewelry as a product which I'm telling you I'll be selecting jewelry and uh, upon uh, choosing the jewelry uh, product type uh, I'll be having the categories here of Bonanza category and uh, I'll be selecting jewelry and watches here and on selecting it I'll be seeing uh, another child category over here where I need to select uh, the subcategory so here we can select men's jewelry fine jewelry ethnic jewelry and so on so I'll be selecting fashion jewelry again once you select the subcategory uh, again a new uh, uh, subcategory uh, box appears so that uh, you can specify exactly what kind of jewelry or what kind of products you are assigning to this profile so I'll be selecting one from these and once you are done with this uh, the page would appear like this so now you have category item traits management so you can uh, also add necessary details or optional details over here which are not mandatory like the condition of the jewelry the metal purity or style main stone color and so on there's a huge list over here so you can uh, add some more traits of the uh, products that you are assigning to this profile so these are not mandatory as written over here but recommended for better listing so you can do it if you want to and uh, I'm sh doing it just to show you and just to make you understand it in a better way so you can go on and select the uh, options from these uh, boxes here once you're done with this the next part here is shipping management and you need to click on shipping management from the left side of the panel and here you can see uh, the domestic shipping management and international shipping management so starting with domestic shipping management the first thing here is item shipping type so here you have options like uh, no changes which means there will be no change and the shipping uh, type that you have selected in bonanza will be there and there will be no change reflected over there next is C description which means uh, the description of uh, shipping details would be described in the products description uh, the next is uh, free which means uh, the item shipping type would be free and then uh, another is fixed so upon uh, selecting fixed shipping type you need to uh, select the service type amongst uh, these options like standard shipping economy shipping expedited shipping or USPS partial post and uh, then you can uh, enter the shipping service cost here and you can keep on adding a uh, shipping service type here for the fixed shipping items type 
and the next thing here would be ships within days so here you need to uh, enter the number of days that you need to ship the product uh, from the day the buyer has uh, placed the order for the product and uh, the next option here is the free so when you uh, select free item shipping type it looks something like this and then you again have to uh, select the shipping service type like uh, economy shipping, expedited shipping, USPS parcel post and uh, many other options are there and here uh, the next thing is ships within days so here again you need to enter the number of days that you will be needing to ship the product from the day, uh, from the day when the order has been placed by the buyer. So uh, this is how you can choose, uh, choose from these uh, options given here and the next thing is international shipping management here in the same section and if you do not want to enable international shipping you can select uh, no and if you want to enable it you can select yes so on selecting yes you again have this item shipping type and again you have C description free or fixed uh, options over here so in C description as already told the the shipping type would be uh, told in the description of the product and if you select fixed here you again have to uh, choose the location for shipping the product so you can add uh, the location like uh, here I have chosen Europe and you can select the shipping cost and you can keep on adding uh, different regions sh different locations and you can remo remove it from here as well so here uh, you can uh, select it in, in accordance with your needs and you can uh, move ahead with the uh, next uh, section which is inventory management so on clicking inventory management the page looks something like this and here inventory rules uh, are currently in the no state so if they are no it means uh, there would be no change in the inventories and if you select fixed inventory here it means that the fixed quantity of uh, inventory would be sent to Bonanza Marketplace from your Shopify uh, store and like if you have entered in default fixed quantity the number of 10 then this is the default quantity that would be sent on Bonanza from Shopify store the next is custom inventory and when you select it you have uh, some options like this minimum threshold quantity and maximum threshold quantity so suppose if you enter in minimum quantity 2 and in maximum threshold quantity you have entered 10 then it means that uh, if you are trying to upload uh, products less than 2 and the quantity uh, is less than 2 then the uh, product that would be uploaded would be having the quantity of 0 because the minimum threshold quantity here uh, that we have chosen is 2 and in contrast with this if you are selecting a uh, more than 10 uh, uh, product quantity to be uploaded on uh, Bonanza marketplace like let's say if you are selecting 15 products to be sent on uh, Bonanza marketplace then only 10 would be uploaded or sent on uh, Bonanza marketplace because the maximum quantity to be sent on Bonanza is 10 so here you can understand it really uh, well in, a, in an easy manner that uh, the minimum is 2 and maximum is 10. So basically if you are uh, trying to send a uh, inventory lesser than 2 then the product inventory would be 0 and uh, if you are entering more than 10 then since the maximum quantity is 10 then the product that would be sent on Bonanza would be 10 in numbers. And uh, this is how inventory rules work. The next part over here is price management which is uh, the next section which you can click on from the left side of the panel and on clicking it you can see the page like this. So here you have price sent on Bonanza and the options here are Shopify sale price or Shopify compare head price and you can select it in, in accordance with your needs and the next here is enable custom pricing. So here it is selected no if you want to custom uh, the pricing you can select yes over here and then you can select the price that you want for your products to be sent on Bonanza marketplace from uh, Shopify store so here now uh, the section gets expanded and now you have select customization type so you can either increase your price or decrease your price on Bonanza marketplace from uh, uh, Shopify uh, store or as compared to Shopify store so let's suppose uh, if you have selected increased price then you have to choose from either fixed or percentage so let's say if you have chosen fixed and you enter 10 in the enter custom price then suppose if your product is for uh, $10 on Shopify store then it will be available on uh, Bonanza marketplace for $110 uh, and 
in the same way if you are selecting the percentage over here and choose either fixed or percentage then you can uh, enter the number here by which you want uh, your product price to be uh, increased on uh, Bonanza marketplace by percentage and not by fixed number so let's suppose if you have entered 10 over here and your product is for $100 and on a Shopify store then 10% of 100 is 10 so your, your product will be available on uh, Bonanza marketplace for $110 similarly if you select decrease price and select customization type again you have options to select either fixed or percentage so you can uh, if you select fixed and you enter 10 here then your product would be available on uh, bonanza marketplace for 90 dollars if it is for 100 dollars on shopify store because you have selected decrease and you have entered 10 dollar here in the same way if you have selected percentage over here then uh, if your product is for 100 dollars on shopify store and it's for uh, if you have entered 10 here then since 10% uh, of 100 is 10 then that is the amount that would be deducted from the Shopify store product and that is the price that would be reflected on Bonanza marketplace which would be $90 so this is how this price management uh, works now next part is return policy management and upon clicking on it you can see the uh, page like this you can see the section like this the first thing here that we see is returns accepted option so you can either select uh, returns not accepted if you do not want to accept the returns by the bias and if you want to select it you want to accept it you can select returns accepted and uh, the next thing here is returns within days so you can uh, enter the number here uh, within which a buyer can initiate the return uh, from the day of uh, getting the product the next is shipping cost paid by option so here you need to select the uh, shipping cost uh, whether it will be paid by a seller or the buyer so you can select it from here in accordance with your business needs the next is written description where you can uh, enter the details of the seller's retained policy so you can enter seller's uh, return policy here over here and uh, it can be any policy that you have for your return the next is boost your sales and here you can see all the points that you need to consider before uh, selling on Bonanza and here item uh, title is here product images and item category condition and trades item barcode and you can use this uh, knowledge to uh, boost your sale on Bonanza so this is how uh, you create a profile why uh, to product uh, to upload the products on uh, Bonanza marketplace from your Shopify store and uh, once you are done with this, uh, the, all these sections, you need to click on submit button on the top right side of the page, which is here. And uh, when you click on it, uh, a message appears like profile created successfully here on this page and your profile gets successfully created. Like here you can see profile has been created by the name of jewelry and since I... Uh, uh, and since I selected the Bonanza category name as bracelets so it's written over here and the item condition which I selected is here and it is enabled uh, because I enabled this I, I've just now created this profile so its status is enabled over here and also you can take actions for this uh, these profiles that you make here if so, so so suppose if you want to edit this profile that you have created you need to click on this edit button on this uh, action column and upon clicking this you will be navigated to this page where you can uh, make the changes to this uh, profile which has already been created and similarly you can also delete a profile by clicking on this delete button uh, under the actions column so this is how to create a profile to upload products on uh, Ma bonanza marketplace from shopify store and uh, this is how you can create a profile and easily assign products to them and uh, upload products easily on Bonanza Marketplace. I hope you all like this video and you all are now uh, aware of how to create a profile while uh, selling on Bonanza Marketplace and uh, I'll be back with a new video again. Till then, bye-bye. See you. This is me, Shaker, signing off.